they're doing more now because it, I read they just bought a huge warehouse to do. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suds. And the sad point of the night comes again. Last beer of the oh, night. last beer. But on an up note, we're drinking an Angry Chair Stout. Uh, a barrel-aged Angry Chair Stout. Yeah. In fact, this is the Rum Barrel-Aged Imperial Awakening. Uh, so this is their, I guess, Imperial Awakening uh, uh, Imperial Stout, which is coffee, cinnamon, vanilla beans. And then this one's Rum Barrel-Aged, 11%. Uh, we've had a few... Angry Chair Styles and love them all. Just uh, doing great things. Sounds great. Let's do it. It's dark. Yeah, it's pitch black. Holds the really glass. Holds the glass. Yeah. Wow. That head, the tan head is basically gone, but let's get the nose. Okay. Ooh, man, that smells great. It's like a really dark chocolate. Yeah, and I get the cinnamon there. Yeah. Definitely get the cinnamon in that as well. The cinnamon is kind of subtle. I mean, it's there. It's just not like in your face to me. For me, that's what I get. I get yeah. cinnamon. I'm just saying it's not like a huge. Gotcha. But I mean, it like I don't get a ton of coffee. I maybe oh, a hint of vanilla. Coffee. Yeah, maybe what I meant by not a ton is I can't. I can't get past this like cinnamon and fudgy chocolate. It's, yeah, fudgy chocolate's a good term. Yeah, and really I think there's some vanilla and there's some sweetness, some 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 booze there yeah. from the rum. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The sweetness from the rum barrel. But it smells wonderful. But no coffee. All right. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh, man. Holy goodness gracious. Mm. So, so much rum barrel. Like, so much sweet rum, sugar, cane. I mean, and then, like, the mouthfeel of this. It's really, and really the creamy. Fudge. And the chocolate. Super sweet, by the way. If I didn't say it to start with. Yeah. Definitely get the cinnamon. Man. See that rum, so we just had a, a rum barrel aged stout from the local brewery that did a really good job. And this this has that same, so I'm like, I think I'm getting what that really tastes mm -hmm. like now. It's this sugar cane, I mean, it, it may not come just off as rum and booze, but it just has this nice, sweet, uh, getting a feel for this right. rum barrel thing now. But usually when I get a rum barrel aged beer, it's usually got, I mean, the rum adds a, a not a harsh booziness, but I mean, it adds a booziness. Yeah. And I'm not getting that on no, this. No, no, no. This is almost like a sweet stout with a little booziness to me, mm -hmm. instead of it being a rum barrel aged beer. Uh, I'm, I mean, that's... Yeah. Maybe what they're going for, but it's just not as strong of a rum flavor as I'm yeah. used to, is what I'm saying. Definitely get the cinnamon in there as well. Uh, I, I can tell there's kind of like this uh -huh. sweet creaminess, like a vanilla. I'm not sure I would say, hey, this is vanilla beans, but no coffee. Yeah, I don't No coffee. coffee. That's kind of disappointing. Um, we haven't sat on this too long either. I don't remember. It was last fall, wasn't it? Or like November, December? Yeah, so three or four months old and... and uh, and they say to drink it fresh, and I mean, it's pretty fresh, and I just don't get any coffee. Hmm. I don't see a date either. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, it's still really good. It's still really good. If you didn't know that it was supposed to be a coffee stout, yeah. I would say it was top notch. Yeah. Because a coffee stout, I mean, it, there's no coffee. Yeah. Um, but they nailed the rum. They, they nailed the rum barrel. I mean, it definitely mm -hmm. comes through. Cinnamon great. Vanilla, sure. Um, nice. It's a little thinner than I remember our last Angry Chair being. Yeah. Maybe that's from the rum barrel. I'm not sure. Um, but it's still pretty thick. I yeah. Mean, a little thicker than the Mexican cake, though. To me, at least. Yeah. But it's right on the same lines. I'm still, I'm like 475. Yeah, I'm, I'm between a 4.5 and 4.75. It's, mm. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with 475. I, I think it's great. Um, well, I would like to see what this taste is like. Maybe fresher i guess and see if the coffee was still there what that would have done for it mm, yeah it would be um nice. if it if it was there it's definitely fallen it's gone but um nothing off putting about this one it's great yeah, it's really good um, i would definitely recommend this um yeah just don't expect coffee <laughs> no at least no. not at this point mm. and uh, i'll have to go back and look at the reviews i wonder if it had big coffee presents <laughs> right up front or if that was masked by the rum barrel and the sweetness sure. um you know, maybe the roastiness we're getting is from the coffee, but there's no way blind I'd ever say coffee. 
No, I don't think so. Again. But, I mean, if you ignore that, it's still a really it's good It's still beer. a really good beer. Yeah. Another winner from them, like I said. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to stick with my 475. Uh, are you kind of a tweener? Are you going 45? What are you? Um, I'm going to go 45. Four five. I mean, I really like it a lot, but yeah. that coffee would add just mm -hmm. that edge. So, yeah. 45. Thanks for yeah. sharing. It's yeah. good. No problem. Anything else? Mm. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.